Hello, the second tutorial is going to be about NURP subdivision and I'll try to cover the subdivide tab. And let's start by diamond subdivide. I'll take uh, a simple surface case when uh, a NURP has four edges, so a normal uh, NURP case. Uh, I would reference it to Grasshopper by taking the BREP. And by default, you would see that there is always uh, edges uh, ending not with the triangles and to change this you can change the boundary condition from minus one to zero for increasing or decreasing subdivision it, it works straightforward you just input the u and v values uh, and that's that's pretty much it. You have an output of this component as, as a mesh with triangular and, and, and quad faces. In case uh, you have a seam, uh, the station changes a little bit. So let's say I, I would revolve this arc around the axis and I would have this column-like element and I would reference it to, to Grasshopper you would see that instantly you would have a seam in this surface. But as long as you would have a subdivision uh, as an even number, uh, not, not necessary here, but like that, uh, the seam is gone. So when subdivision is even number, uh, it's fine. And when it's not even, it's odd, uh, there's a seam. So to, to be sure, I would change u value to even number. So I would always have a seam solved. Sometimes you would also need a triangular uh, elements of the, these uh, quotes. So if I would clean all the information from all the angle information from this uh, uh, subdivision and also right click explode, you would see that I would just also take angle preview to a bit have a bit more clean uh, view. You would have these faces pointing in one direction and I also can flip them by taking boolean toggle and, and switching from true to false. So sometimes it's useful, sometimes it's not. So see that uh, the, the face number is also changing. Um, and if you don't need, just type right click and explode and all the faces are going to be quotes as was before. Um, you can also swap direction of the surface, uh, but in this case it won't do much um, because it's it's not not a condition that we are going to use. Um, another case, uh, there is a a simple condition of a ring. Uh, normally, you you would create a surface by locking uh, two uh, edges together. And then you also would have a seam uh, here. So if I would reference to, to Grasshopper and I would change uh, uh, the subdivision value, I would hide the surface, you would see that the seam is solved as well here. Sometimes you would need a disk which is circular. So if I would uh, revolve this line around the axis, I would have a, a simple disk which is looks like that. Again, you have a seam, um, and then if I would uh, change to to a proper subdivision value, you would see that the seam is solved also as well uh, here. Yeah. Which has a singularity at the center in this case. A bit more complex cases when two seams uh, has a surface has two seams, in this case it's, it's a torus. And if I would subdivide the surface into diamond subdivision and increase uh, the, the subdivision value, in this case I would need u and v as even numbers. You would see that the uh, seam is, is also solved as well here. And if I would have a, a sphere which has two singularities at the top and the bottom, 
the seam is going to be solved as, as well here. Um, another case that can, that that this component uh, can solve is is that you you sometimes need a subdivision for multiple surfaces, and you also would like to to ha to have a clean seam of, of those surfaces. So to illustrate, I have a condition when there are multiple surfaces joined together like that. Um, and let's take this brep and reference it to, to Grasshopper. Be sure that it's joined, so I'll take a component, a native Grasshopper component called brep join. And I also need to use a component sort brep, which essentially tries to align the seams together. And if I would uh, connect uh, this brep to S, which is a surface, and I would hide all the information, you would see that still there is seam at the top, but the moment you would connect U and V parameters in, uh, in the same subdivision value, the, the seam is gone. And essentially also if you disconnect V value, uh, it tries to, to subdivide it uh, uh, by, by the sa same subdivisions on, on both directions. Um, before I was trying to, to change this component that it divides by distance, but there was too much confusion between the U subdivision and this subdivision. Um, but in this case, it subdivides uh, U and V values uh, um, using the same dist di distance uh, inside the component. The hexagon subdivision works in the same way as diamond subdivision and can also solve cases of seams if it's possible for the subdivision method. Um, if I would hide the, the geometry as before, I can also change the T parameter, which is changing the tweening from quad grid uh, to triangular or diamond grid. So we have one case and you have another case. But in general, it, it creates this uh, hexagon subdivision and it also has UV parameters as before. And yeah. Um, if we have a seam, uh, it also tries to solve it. So we have a seam here. And if I have an even number of values, it also creates. Uh, a subdivision without the seam uh, in the same way. The same goes for the loft surfaces. If there is an even number of values, uh, the same goes for uh, the disks. As you see here, so it creates a hexagon subdivision. Um, just be sure that it has a correct uh, proportion of subdivisions. It also works for torus or like two seams at once. So we ha I have uh, this case and also tries to, you know, to, to solve the, the seam for the even numbers. And strangely, it also works for, for surfaces that has two singularities, in this case, uh, the sphere. So we have this kind of changes of the hex surface. And we can also do as well for multiple uh, um, multiple patches or multiple surfaces that are joined together. So I, I would again reference uh, this full brep. I will be sure that it's joined. And I'm sh I must be sure that all the seams are aligned or sorted. And then you can try to 
connect to the surface value and if I would have a really small value you would see that the seam is, is still here if I would have even smaller value that is an even number and I will hide the surface you would see that in, in the case that the component has an explode option which is has a seam visible or kind of not solved and if I would uh, unexplode these seams are uh, solved <coughs> and I again can, can tweak uh, the, the, the p-parameter to have a, a brick-like pattern or or a hex subdivision. See you next time.